The chairman of Region 6, Mr. David Armagan, outlined the plans of the region's COVID-19 task force to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Renetta Court reports. We have to do quite a lot of education because we're going to use public address system to go into various communities and so. We're going to do more TV programs to make sure that people are aware of the thing. We have, we have asked the police to enforce that uh, the, the people wear mask once they leave their homes. That was Regional Chairman of Region 6, Mr. David Armagan, as he outlined the measures the region's COVID-19 task force seeks to put in effect to curb the spread of the coronavirus. The only thing that we can be able to stop this thing is people doing the right thing. And then we also got to deal with the measures that are necessary to be put in place, like washing your hands, all the hygiene methods that have to be used, which is put out by the Ministry of Health, which is put out by the World Health Organization and PAW and everybody else. If these things are put in place, I think we can be able to minimize, um, you know, the, the numbers that we seem to be having rising every day in our country. He further emphasized. So we have to start doing things like what the NIS have been doing for quite some time. You got an issue, you put it in a, on a, you write it and you drop it in a box. Then we clear the box every day, you put your phone number on what it is, and then we call you the next day and say, this is how we dealt with the problem. Instead of people coming, 30, 40 people coming every morning here to see us. Because this, this, this disease, um, I don't see it easy enough for, for, for now. And so the measures have got to be put in place to deal, with, to deal with it. The region would have recorded its first case in March of this year, after which no other cases were identified for an approximately five months period. On Tuesday, August 18, the region recorded seven new cases. In light of this, the chairman is urging residents of Region 6 to be careful and adhere to the COVID-19 guidelines. In this region here, we really have to be careful now because for quite some time, we haven't had any case. And now, once you have a few cases coming through, and maybe we had cases here in the region, and people have been telling me that. You know, people have been saying to me from don't believe that everything is bright and beautiful in the region because many people are walking around and they're, they're asymptomatic and they may have the problem because people are traveling to, to, to Georgetown, people are traveling, you know, all, all parts of the country and so you're exposed. He also mentioned It seems as though scientifically it has been proven that wearing a mask helps and so we are asking our people to wear the mask at all times when they leave home, not to pull it down on the chin and to, you know, and then when they, uh, sometimes they feel like pulling it up. It has to be worn on the nose, you know, it has to cover the nose and the face at all times. Mr. Ramagon also highlighted that they will be carrying out rapid testing, especially in areas where the infected persons reside. So we're going to do a lot of education program. We have to be able to do some more surveillance. We have to do more testing, rapid testing. You know, in some of these areas that we suspect that may, you know, especially like areas in 74 where this particular guy might have been meddling with people. And so we got to do some rapid testing there as well. And we, we are also... Um, looking to bring doctors on television every other night to make sure that they can talk about this disease and so. So we're going to do a lot more uh, program, um, a lot more public address uh, systems going around, uh, trying to educate people. When asked if the region will be placed on an emergency lockdown, the chairman made these remarks. Of course that will have to be decided um, by the National COVID-19 Secretariat on recommendation from the regional um, extension. But um, as of now, I don't think there's need to do that. Um, Mr. Ramagan is calling on the general public to protect themselves and others from this dreadful virus by complying with public health guidelines. I'm appealing to our people. This is a very dangerous disease and it doesn't have, you know, it doesn't discriminate. It's a disease that is affecting the whole world. And so we have to take the necessary precaution. Reporting for Channel 8 News, Renee Kurt.